With the global chip shortage affecting all sectors of electronics, it's been tough for car audio brands to manufacture head units. If you're lucky to get your hands on something, expect to pay more. But tier two brands have stepped it up since tier one companies like Alpine, Kenwood, and Pioneer have struggled to get head units on the shelves. Brands like Jensen, Boss, and Planet Audio have emerged and believe it or not, have stepped it up. In this video, we'll take a look at Jensen's Car 710W, which is a seven inch monitor with wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and more. So stay with us. Hey, what's up? I'm Josh from Breakers Stereo. And normally Jensen wouldn't necessarily be on my list of head units to recommend, but this head unit actually does a pretty good job, especially for the money. It retails for $439, but for a unit with wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, it is a great value. Even pre-pandemic, a tier one head unit made by Alpine, JVC, Kenwood, or Pioneer with wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto would run you about $550 to $600, but now you'd be lucky to see one under $800. So at $439 under these current conditions is a pretty good value. Okay, so as we take a closer look at this radio, we'll go over all the features, do an unboxing, go through a full demonstration, then we'll hit the pros and cons list, and finally we'll give you our overall rating. Now, if you're new to our channel, we wanna thank you for joining us. Consider joining our tribe of auto and audio enthusiasts as we feature car audio and auto accessories. If that's you, then subscribe now. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so this radio is a digital multimedia receiver with AM, FM tuner. Note, it does not play CDs. It's a seven inch touchscreen LCD monitor with LED backlight and a resolution of over 1.1 million. Bluetooth for hands-free calling and audio streaming, 16 watts times four RMS, 50 watts times four peak power. The output on the pre-outs are six channel, four volt front, rear, and sub. Audio video features include MP3, MP4, FLAC, XVID file, playback through the USB. This does have an eight band EQ with eight preset EQ curves, subwoofer control, and also time alignment. Steering wheel control ready, the adapter is sold separately. Inputs include a rear USB that charges at five volts, rear AV input through an RCA, and a rear view camera input. Smartphone features include wired and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, let's get to the unboxing. Our Bluetooth mic. A GPS antenna that will be utilized when you're using navigation apps like um, Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze. There's your harness there. RCA outputs. Also, you have your video inputs and camera inputs. Mounting hardware, trim ring. Okay, your owner's manual. All right, and here's the head unit. Uh, it's kind of a weird design. I've never actually seen this on any other radios except for Jensen. And what that is, is you have, it's kind of a shallow, mounts um, then it recesses inwards and you've got these brackets on the outside okay all right so let's just take a look at the back you have your USB input your antenna input your mic input GPS antenna input your Sirius XM so this plug is for the RCA's and this is for the power ground and your speaker wires all right so on here seven inch screen you do have a row of buttons on the bottom. So you have your volume up and down, source, on, off, and then your voice command. All right, so let's fire this thing up and see what it can do. Okay, this is our main menu. As you can see, we have our sources here. We have radio, AV input, Bluetooth, USB, Sirius XM, tuner required, Bluetooth for your phone. This radio does not do Android mirroring. I called Jensen and they said that that was a mistake that they made on this radio. So on their new update, once you update that, that will say Android Auto instead of mirror. But right now, just so you know, that does Android Auto. As you can tell, there is your Google Maps and your Android Auto screen. Next, we have Apple CarPlay. You have Bluetooth audio, AV input, equalizer, and your settings. So let's go ahead and jump into the equalizer. As you can see, we have an eight band 
EQ here, ranging from 50 hertz all the way up to 15K. All right, so you can customize this, so just simply touch the band, move it up and down, and that will adjust the sound for you. There are some presets on the top here. You have electric, pop, soft, flat, and I believe you've got a couple more here, jazz, rock, and classic. All right, now if you hit this menu, balance, this will allow you to adjust the balance and the fade. Of course, you do have crossovers, but only for the subwoofers. This is one thing I do not like about this radio. It does not have crossovers for the front and rear speakers. So if you're running an amplifier, you can definitely run the crossovers in the amplifier, but you won't be able to do it at the radio. But if you're not running an amp and that you are running the power of the radio, you won't be able to cross over those speakers at the radio, most radios will have this feature. This one does not. So here you also have subwoofer control from negative six all the way up to plus six. Okay, now here you have settings. From here you can adjust the date and the time. We already went over audio, let's look at display. From display you can choose the brightness here, as bright as 20. And this also goes down probably to zero. Okay, so let's bring that back up to 20. And then you have a dimmer mode. So if you use that dimmer wire and use the auto, this will actually dim with the dash lights in your vehicle. All right, other. Here you have version. Here's where you can tell what software is on your radio. And then you have your factory default and the open source licensing. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. On radio, you have your presets here. You can adjust, you can tune your radio here, find a radio station that you like, and simply hold it down and that will lock it into that spot. You can also jump to the EQ here as well. So instead of going into the menu, into audio, you can just simply hit that button and that takes you directly to the EQ. Let's go back. Here you can punch in your station if you like. Okay, so right now I do have my iPhone plugged in. Let's go ahead into CarPlay real quick. All right, so I can't say this. The screen is nice and bright. It actually does have a high pixel count. I can definitely tell versus some of the other radios that we work with. Okay, so from here, obviously you have your phone, your music, your maps, messaging, now playing. This Jensen button will take you back to the Jensen menu. You have podcast news, audiobooks, calendar, basically all these apps. It's mainly going to be your audio apps, meaning your music, and then you also have Audible, Blinklist, Waze for navigation, Zoom, and WhatsApp. All right, so let's talk about wireless CarPlay. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and hit CarPlay here. From here, it says a USB or Bluetooth connection is required. Switch to connected device view. Let's go ahead and hit yes. All right, and so what we're gonna do is go ahead and pair this. Okay, and then grab your phone and go into your Wi-Fi setting. Then this screen will come up. You wanna go ahead and find your phone, so hit pair there. Okay, and then on your phone, it's gonna tell you to go ahead and pair it up. So I'm gonna hit pair here and then allow, give it a couple seconds. And then it's asking if I wanna use a wireless CarPlay, so I'll do that. Okay, and now you can see that the icon is actually green instead of shadowed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that button, and there it is. So you can see I have my phone, it's disconnected, there's no wires on it, and we have CarPlay right here, and this is my phone here, so I'm gonna go ahead and play some music. There it is. The button's on the bottom. You do have your volume up and down. Uh, the button off here in the middle is your on and off. You have your source button, and there also is a voice command button. So if I tap that button, that's gonna go ahead and activate Siri. And then from here, you can obviously tell Siri what you want to do. Okay, let's take a look at Android Auto. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pair up a phone. All right, we're gonna pair that there. Allow the wireless connection. Okay, so now here's Android Auto. All right, and there's your navigation. If you hit this button, that's your home button. That's gonna take you to your available apps. So here you have your navigation app, Spotify, Calendar, Messenger, okay? So a little bit less available for Android Auto versus Apple CarPlay. And that's all done wirelessly, as you can see. So there are no wires, and that's this phone off of this radio. Okay, so this does have an AV input, so you're able to mirror your phone using a couple adapters. So this is what that adapter looks like right here. And then you're gonna take that from the HDMI to a lightning cable. If you have an iPhone, if you have an Android, it'll be HDMI to USB-C. And then you're gonna plug it into the audio video input on the back of the radio. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit AV input. And as you can see, that's off my phone, off of Netflix. And if we hit play, then it'll stream through. Okay, time for pros and cons. Starting with the cons. 
only an eight band equalizer, no high res audio, and there has been issues with the bottom row of buttons, but we haven't noticed them recently, so Jensen may have resolved that issue. And no high pass crossovers for front and rear. Okay, on to the pros. Four volt preouts, high resolution screen, and wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, not to mention the price point. Okay, with that being said, we're going to give this radio a four star rating, mainly because of what you get for the money. There isn't a lot out there at this price point with those features. Now, if you're interested in this radio, we have left a link in the description below, taking you directly to the product page. We are the online car stereo shop where you can make low, easy payments, simply add to cart, pick a financing option, apply, get approved, and we'll send this out to you ASAP. Okay, make sure you tap the like and sub buttons. Again, I'm Josh from Breaker Stereo, signing off, and we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.